The EV industry is on the brink of revolutionizing the market, and Toyota's latest breakthrough is a game changer. One of the largest and most successful automobile manufacturers since its founding in 1937, Toyota has consistently led the way, outshining rising competitors. But today, they face an unprecedented challenge. EVs have taken the world by storm, threatening to render internal combustion engines obsolete. If we don't phase out these engines, reaching our net zero goals for climate change will remain a distant dream. However, rumors of the internal combustion engine's demise might be premature. Toyota's CEO has just unveiled a groundbreaking engine that could change the game. The question is, will this new innovation from Toyota be enough, or are EVs poised to push even this giant out of the market? Join us as we explore Toyota's latest invention, their market position, and their perspective on the EV revolution. Toyota, the world's largest automobile manufacturer, boasts incredibly versatile factories that produce a wide range of vehicles, from economical cars to luxury SUVs, Jeeps, and trucks. Dominating the market with impressive annual production numbers, Toyota rolls out around 10 million vehicles each year, reaching a cumulative production of over 300 million globally. This makes them a benchmark for other brands. But despite these achievements, why does Toyota feel threatened by EVs? The answer is simple. Consumers are increasingly drawn to cost-effective, hassle-free options. Owning a vehicle comes with ongoing expenses like gas, maintenance, and spare parts. Even if these aren't daily concerns, refueling is a constant necessity. Fuel prices vary worldwide, being affordable in some places and exorbitant in others. Many drivers prefer the convenience and comfort of their own vehicles over public transportation, but can't ignore the significant cost of fuel. This has driven customers to seek more economical alternatives, like EVs. Electric vehicles aren't new. The first one was designed by Ferdinand Porsche in 1901, but recent innovations have made them more appealing by significantly cutting costs. Using solar power, EVs present a better economic option for many. Reflecting on this shift, Toyota's CEO remarked, I couldn't see more than 30% of the world's cars being EVs at any time. No matter what the auto industry undertakes, the electric car segment will only ever account for a maximum of 30% of the market. According to him, Toyota plans to reduce emissions with a multifaceted approach, incorporating battery electric vehicles, BEVs, alongside internal combustion engines, hybrids, and hydrogen-powered drivetrains. Toyota believes these alternative models will dominate 70% of the market. Initially, Toyota focused on hybrid technology, and although they are now considering EVs, their priority remains mastering hybrid technology first. Will this strategy keep them ahead in the race, or are they at risk of falling behind in the fast-evolving EV market? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into Toyota's innovations and their impact on the future of the automobile industry. In the meantime, Toyota has established a foundation upon which to expand its fully electric ambitions. Hydrogen Engine Technology Toyota has unveiled its groundbreaking design to revolutionize the automotive landscape and reclaim its dominance in the market. The company had huge success in the market in the year 2023, smashing a record number of 11.2 million vehicles in total. Toyota is recalling more than 1 million vehicles worldwide. These records were made up of both traditional car engines and the newest innovations of EV engines. Although electric cars were also a part of the record sales, it wasn't considered a huge part of the success. This is because only a total of 104,000 vehicles produced and distributed from Toyota last year were electric. Percentage-wise, that is just around 0.926%. Before this record of sales, the chief executive officer still believed there was a strong demand for the traditional engine over the electric. Well, on the CBS Money Watch, hybrid cars are back in the spotlight. Sales are surging as all electric vehicle sales slow down, hence why the company isn't making electric cars a major part of their vehicle production, but rather delving into hydrogen engines. 
Toyota is charting clear of the electric wave in the world as numerous car brands have started to move into the production of electric cars, with plans to stop the production of vehicles powered by fuel and diesel in the coming years. Car makers such as Jaguars, Chrysler, Aston Martin, Rolls-Royce, Maserati, Opel and Volvo have committed to fully going into electric models of cars by the end of the decade. Shockingly, Toyota's brand Lexus has also promised to stop selling vehicles with combustion engines by 2035. This brings us to another question. Is a hydrogen engine a better option? How does it work, especially with a direct injection system which is spray-guided and a twin-turbo system which reacts as fast as lightning? What are the advantages it has over electric vehicles? How does the Toyota hydrogen engine work? By transcending existing fuel technologies through electrolysis, this happens in real time to create a self-sustaining cycle. Unlike traditional hydrogen vehicles, which require cumbersome high-pressure storage tanks, the hydrogen engine employs a water tank equipped with electrodes. The moment these electrodes receive a higher voltage, they immediately separate water into its basic elements, which are hydrogen and oxygen. The elements come together and are responsible for making water. So the idea is, what if instead of making a whole bunch of new electric cars, we instead took the combustion cars that we already have built and converted them to hydrogen-based fuels? After the hydrogen is isolated, it is then directed into the combustion chambers where it ignites, replicating how natural gases ignite. The eco-conscious implications of this innovation could be transformative, as when this engine is running, it emits near or zero emissions. Even the most advanced electric engines and vehicles haven't gotten this feature yet. Now we need to discuss emissions because it's not quite as simple as you take oxygen and hydrogen, and then out comes water. So, of course, air has nitrogen. This feat alone shows reasons why Toyota's CEO boasted about this engine putting out electric cars. It sidesteps environmental repercussions associated with extracting rare earth metals for batteries and oil consumption from traditional engines. Incredible, right? These new engines might just be revolutionary in the automobile world. Beyond its ecological virtues, the hydrogen engine is user-friendly. A vehicle with this engine can be refueled with distilled water, a resource that is easy to come by and in plenty of abundance. This is in stark contrast to the logistical complexity of charging electric vehicles or even the refueling of hydrogen cars. This engine is promising, especially to the environment. It produces nearly zero emissions, rivaling EVs but offering greater convenience. The engine is able to refuel from any source of diluted water. This engine sidesteps the logistic complications attached to hydrogen-based vehicles, traditional engines, and EVs. When compared to hydrogen engines and heavy FCVs, the Toyota water engine stands out as an eco-friendly marvel. Storing water is simple and inexpensive, in stark contrast to hydrogen, which demands heavily armored, vigorously monitored tanks. The pure form of hydrogen is less likely to be found than a pure form of water, so why not use the more available material to make this engine unique, useful, and successful for human endeavors? Economically, the hydrogen engine offers an inviting proposition for the populace. Unlike fossil fuels, water is abundant and renewable. This reality translates into reduced operational costs over the lifetime of the vehicle. With this engine, Toyota can easily take over the car market and be the only brand with a unique innovation that is as promising as the invention of the electric vehicle engine. The future of this innovation and the stance of Toyota in the automobile world rests solely on the implementation and success of this invention. If Toyota is able to pull this off and find a way to mass produce these engines, then the world might just have a new favorite automobile brand. Although the electric engine invention is promising and will be a huge advantage to a clean and eco-friendly world, the hydrogen engine invention just might be the idea to reclaim Toyota's spot as the number one car producing brand. Only time will tell if this will be a success, and we wait to see how the production and distribution of this new engine will unfold in the coming years.